All right, so this is the video where I uh, show how I daily upload and create my roller coasters in FED++ and No Limits 2. So to get started, I'll have the FED++ link in the description if you guys want to use it and don't have it yet. I have it right here. I'm going to open it. And the first thing that I usually do is go to the properties and do anything. I don't know, just, you know, change frictions. Friction. I'll have it at two, and then usually I make it a little bit lower in game, because this this will have a really realistic speed, and then I like to make it a little bit faster in the limits too, so it's better for the video and doesn't look as boring. So track style, we're actually going to be making a launch coaster. So if we're doing Intamin, I'm just going to do a double spline, which they've been using for their modern day launch coasters, like on Veloci coaster, and I believe it's on part of Pantheon. I'm not sure. And then we'll go to edit. Anchor. I want it to be just 10 meters in the air. That's okay. We're going to start off with a straight section. I usually make it 20 meters for the station. I think that's about fine. And then I start off with another straight. Sometimes I do like a little bit of a curve upwards. I think we'll do that actually. Curve section. We want to put the total angle, or total or the direction at zero, so it's going upwards. Total angle. We want that to be around three to five. So I think three looks okay. And go straight section. However long we want our launch track to be. I think 80 looks okay. Yeah, I think we could do a double launch. Or, you know, let's do a triple. Let's uh let's go crazy. So we're gonna do I'll split this into I don't know, three parts, I'd say. So we can have for each section. So first launch section we'll have a fifty meters. That's okay. Everything will look like a different size and how big it is, depending on what you're in, FED or No Limits 2. It looks very, like, you just kind of, you just kind of have to trust the the numbers. Uh, I live in America, but I still use meters and kilometers an hour. I just have become kind of more used to it. So, that's what I'm using. You can change that, though. Edit, options, metric. Use meters per second if you want to. I did it first, that's the default, but um, I prefer to use the kilometers an hour because that's what No Limits has. So after that, we want to start, should we get to set our speed? So I usually do a, like the first launch, I think 70 is okay. My last video, the first launch, or the, the one launch was about 70 or 80. So, if you saw that video, that's for reference. You go four section. I like to keep my laterals on dynamic unless I want to specifically do something. And so basically that I'll just keep on going and I don't have to keep appending it. So to go upwards, we're gonna go high force. I don't wanna go three Gs. You can see on everything here is the G-force, here's the speed at the end, and everything else. We don't need to really roll, or we don't need to worry about our pitch until we get to the end. But roll, or if you're doing a certain element, roll we can worry about later as well. We get to certain elements. So I think we're going to go up, and then do like, I don't know, kind of like a going to go high bank turn. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go up first and see that's really high force with low speed. So that's what it's going to look like when it's like that. Uh, that looks like it's too high force right here. So I'm going to lower that. I think that looks like that looks okay. I want to leave this to be positive so that we can do our turn. Usually, 
I think it is better to make longer roll time lengths than one second. Otherwise, it'll make your rolls just a little too fast. And I think 1.5 is what I normally like to do, but two is okay for more drawn out things. So I don't have a lot of speed. This is kind of where we, uh, you just kind of do a little bit of trial and error with what you're doing. You just kind of keep on moving around with forces and stuff and see what you like and see what you don't like. So I think when you're just going, you can, you right click, your mouse goes away and you just look around, you right click again, your mouse can move. If you put it away like this, and then press space bar, you're on the track. This is normal speed, this is with shift held, and this is with control held. So I think that looks pretty good. I go down and then I do 1.5 to pull out of this element. Go like this. 70 looks about good. And we want to go just before the ground. So that's going underground. Let's go out of there. So there you go. That looks good. And then, hmm, let's do, I'd say let's go a little bit more this way. So keep it a little bit more compa compact and not a little less drawn out. I force, and then I'd say we twist to the side and do like a wave turn right here. So let's go, I'm gonna pull that back 1.5. It's gonna look weird right in the second. And then low force will make it not so high in the air. Negative one G, you wanna keep this below negative two Gs. That's too high. And I think I want it to be a little bit more. No. That looks about good. Mm -hmm. that, looks, that looks fine. And then I want this to be around 90. There we go, a little bit below it though. That looks good. I'm go 1.5 again. I want this to be quick. looks fine see so yeah, that's another good element I want this to be a little bit more going this way though so I'm gonna go about that much and then bang bang we already have two elements that look pretty good and that did not take us very long at all it's gonna take if you've never used FVD plus plus It'll take a little bit longer and that's okay. You'll just get better at it as you go. I personally decided I wanted to use it and then quit and then started using it again because my no limits hand building was pretty bad. So I think I, uh, I want to go up and do like a hill. I want to go facing this launch though. So I'm going to make this a little bit higher forces. So it curls around a little faster. Alex, okay. And then I want the roll to start right there. 1.5. Now this is where we're gonna pay attention 
to our roll value. That looks a little much. That looks good. I did that by changing uh, the duration of this segment. All right, so that looks good. And then we're going to change this roll. We want it to be as close to zero as possible. And that looks pretty close. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna try to get this back on track together. Actually, I kind of want up here. We could do like a little fake down. I mean, 3G is a little much. I'll do 2.5. And then it actually goes down. If you watch my videos, you probably know I do a lot of these little elements that kind of look like this. I'm a big fan of double downs, double ups. And then I'd say we curl down this way. So start the roll right there. 1.5. Hundred amount, yeah, it looks fine. Your so I said that you need to keep your negative G's below or above negative two. You want to keep your positives below below four and a half for realism. They can go over five on roller coasters. Uh, Sky Rush, Top Thrill Dragster, King Ka, they all go, they'll touch five, but they don't, you can't stay like, you can't sustain five. It's because it's just, it's not realistic, it's unsafe. So if you want to keep these coasters realistic, that's what you need to do. Then I'd say we come around this way, and then we head to the second launch, and we end this video. And then I'll continue this in another one. Hundred. Just check. Yep. Obviously, this the higher the force, the more it'll just go up. Lower the force, it'll go around. Try to grab my roll. There we go. Actually, append it now. All right, so that's going to be kind of going into this. So I'm going to probably just lower that. Yep. It's not happening sooner. Looks good. And our pitch is at 13, so that means if I start another launch, it's going to be going up really steep. We don't want to do that. So pitch of two, that's pretty good. Usually the launches are inclined anyway. I think there's uh, or this one's. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the incline is. Okay, height. So this, on this hill over here, when we wanted it to be zero, we set it just as close as we could. Now on this, we want it to be very, very close to zero. And this, and this, this is where the positive is closest to zero, and this is the negative that's closest to zero. We know it's between 90 and 91. So now we wanna just kind of play with this until we find what our middle is. Right, it's between those. 
All right, yep, it's either one of those. That's zero. All right, so now we have a roll of zero. Smooth, all right. And we'll continue this in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. And goodbye.